April 26th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Acts chapter 6 from the New Testament. Now in those days, when the disciples were growing in number, a complaint arose on the part of the Greek-speaking Jews against the native Hebraic Jews, because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve called the whole group of the disciples together and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to wait on tables. But carefully select from among you, brothers, seven men who are well attested, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we may put in charge of this necessary task. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal pleased the entire group, so they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a Gentile convert from Judaism from Antioch. They stood these men before the apostles who prayed and placed their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly and a large group of priests became obedient to the faith. Now Stephen, full of grace and power, was performing great wonders and miraculous signs among the people. But some people from the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, both Cyrenians and Alexandrians, as well as some from Cilicia and the province of Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. Yet they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, We have heard this man speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They incited the people, the elders, and the experts in the law. Then they approached Stephen, seized him, and brought him before the council. They brought forward false witnesses who said, This man does not stop saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him saying that Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the council looked intently at Stephen and saw his face was like the face of an angel. God, I just heard tonight from a friend of mine that in a class she was taking, the woman who sits next to her was recently murdered. A and incredibly horrid story, incredibly sad. But I also think about that in relation to what we just heard um, from Acts about the choosing of this group uh, to serve a group of people that had been overlooked. And I think about how many people we see day in and day out in our lives that become common to us, that become overlooked people. Uh, they're just always there and they just are always there. And we talk to them about work or school or family things. But somehow the conversation, for a variety of reasons, I'm sure, just never gets around to the incredible power and love and grace and mercy of you and the great story of Jesus. And maybe, maybe we're afraid of what they'll think because they're, they're, they've been in our lives for so long. Or maybe it's somebody we've just met, so we're really worried about what they will think because we want to make sure that they're our friend. Maybe it's somebody who's already voiced concern over not wanting to listen. Oh, we, do, we have so many excuses as to why things don't happen, God. But I think about the people in our life. And then I think about what you command us to do. That you command us to love people. Not love in the way that we think of love, but in the way that you think of love. And do we really truly love the people that are around us if we're not really willing to set aside everything about us and let them know about you? Do we really love them if we're willing to take a chance that they're not going to get to spend eternity not only with us, but more importantly with you? That's not love. That's selfishness. We're more worried about us than we are about what you command us to do and what we should be doing out of love. So God, today I just pray for everyone listening to today's recording. 
I just challenge every single person that they find one person today, whether it's in person, online, a person they know, a person they just met, uh, a person they've never met, that, that there is at some point today an opportunity for them to talk to that person about you, God. And I know you put these opportunities in my life all the time. At the checkout stand, when I'm getting gas, at the auction house. Um, it's just amazing all these great opportunities you give me to pray for people and talk to them about how crazy awesome you are. God, I just pray that everyone listening today just seeks out those opportunities that you provide for us and at least takes the time to truly love somebody in their life enough to let them know about you. God, thank you. Thank you for this amazing opportunity to learn what real love really is about. In your son's name we pray. Amen. <laughs>